Hey, 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 it's your girl Evelyn here and I am back with another video. And so in this video, I kind of wanted to talk about like, well, I wanted to do a follow up to the videos that I did on like how I started my femininity journey and the video that I did about the people and the books that, you know, have helped me along my journey. So like I said before, I am not going to be your femininity instructor or your femininity guru or coach. But what I am is a fellow woman who has really enjoyed the journey of rediscovering my femininity. One of the things that I've learned along the way is we don't we, we don't lose our femininity. It gets buried under lots of other things, life experiences, generational crap, blah, blah, blah. But one of the things that I wanted to say to you is because I know that as we're talking about black women in luxury and we're talking about black women in femininity, right, there's a lot of people who are entering the space and there's a lot of opinions out there. And I want to share with you what I have used over the years to kind of, you know, filter through and decipher who I wanted to listen to and who I wanted to learn from. And maybe that'll help you in your quest or in as you continue your journey or as you're getting started on your journey to really be able to filter and decide like who's really giving you valuable information. So one of the first things, and this is, this is for any area of my life where I am going to be allowing myself to receive instruction is I ask myself the question, do I want their experience? Um, whether that's a business coach, whether that's a relationship coach, whether that is a femininity coach, like whatever the case may be, right? It's kind of like, it's like watching a makeup tutorial. If you don't like the way that person does their makeup, why would you watch their tutorial? Because they're going to teach you how to do their makeup the way that they do their makeup. And if you don't like their makeup, then you're not going to like the end result that you get. And not that it's going to be exactly the same. Um, but that's just kind of like the example I like to use, right? So for me, when it comes to the things that I want to read and the people that I want to listen to, as much as I can decipher from what's available, think about, do I want you know, a similar experience or a similar result in my own life because they are going to share from their own experience, right? So for me, like, you know, part of my femininity journey was yes, about a romantic relationship, but, but it was also about having femininity in other areas and not just having my femininity defined by my relationship status. And so when I came across people that all of their femininity dialogue was only about how it pertained to um, men in relationships and they weren't giving me a more of a holistic picture. I, I'm not gonna say that I didn't listen to them, but I, I definitely like, you know, ate the meat and spit out the bones, right? Unless they're like a relationship, you know, coach. But if, they're t if, if, they're, if their entire definition of femininity is just about being in a relationship, I always was kind of like, mm, right? doesn't mean that their information is bad doesn't mean that their information is wrong it doesn't mean any of that but that was my personal preference that i was looking to seek advice and allow myself to be influenced by women who were very real rounded in their femininity and that there was evidence even if it wasn't like them telling me but i could see evidence of them being successful in their femininity in multiple areas of their life whether that was in motherhood, whether that was in relationships, whether that was in their career, whether it was with how they took care or talked to themselves, anything like that. So the first thing I always think about is like, do I want their similar experience, right? Um, because whatever they're sharing with me is like that. It's kind of like, <laughs> okay, it's kind of like people who've been, who been married for 32 seconds, but they want to give like marriage advice. Like I'm probably taking my marriage advice from people who've been married 10, 15, 50 40 years you know what i'm saying like who've been through some things who know a little bit of something right doesn't mean the people that who have been married less don't have something valuable to share i just need some people with a couple of circles around the globe <laughs> but this is this is my preference right so it's kind of like that right so so my first criteria is i was just looking at do i want the results and i think i kind of weaved in another part which was i did want someone who was talking about femininity holistically right because femininity we both have femininity and masculinity men and women right it's just that 
women typically, you know, possess or exhibit more femininity character traits uh, and ways of being than masculine and vice versa, right? And so once I realized that femininity could help me in the workplace, it could help me with my relationship with myself, my relationship with God, right? Yes, my relationship with men, my relationship with money, right? Like all of these things, right? Like I started leaning into those uh, content or those creators or those coaches because I felt like they were showing me how this you know how you do one thing is how you do everything and so femininity was like this through line and I knew that if I could um you know get back to my original feminine design that it was going to help me 360 right so that was another thing that I looked for and then I also looked for I think the third thing I looked for were people who weren't just telling me tactical things to do. Like, I think there's some really great people in the space, but everything is very tactical. Talk like this, look like this, say this, do this, but they aren't really explaining the what and the why behind the how, or they're, they're not explaining the why behind the what, right? Or maybe they're not even given the how. And so I wanted people who were going to educate me on femininity, the topic itself, and then lead me down a path whether it was exercises or coaching programs or courses or books or something like that that wasn't just going to get me hyped up uh but also like educate me right now let me be clear most of the people that i studied more and learned more about femininity from i had to invest and pay them and i'm like so not ashamed of that like if you have something in your life that you want to fix you can you can invest with time and sweat equity and you can invest with dollars i chose to invest with dollars that was just my preference so i was looking for someone people who could take me through a step-by-step -step process in different areas and really teach me about femininity as well as help me return to my femininity right so i wanted to learn about it and i wanted to do it so that was that and I think also um I didn't want anybody who was bashing men um I, I did not I did not want anybody like men are my allies men are amazing they are completely different than us and that is a good thing and I think that a lot of women um, and I will, I will speak for myself at some point was under the impression that men were like, I heard, I read this quote somewhere that a lot of women think that men are just misbehaving women <laughs> and that if they would just act like us and think like us and do like us and be like us, then we wouldn't have any problems in this life. But then that's not a man, that's a woman, right? So, um, you know, I, I didn't want anyone who had disdain or angst or, um, you know, just a dislike or distrust towards men because that was not the angle that I wanted to go around. I didn't want anyone that was going to talk to me about fighting for different things and all that kind of stuff because femininity by it by definition, you command certain things and you don't necessarily have to demand them, right? So I definitely didn't want anybody that was male bashing. I didn't even want it to be on the slick. I didn't even want their comments to be like, oh, we don't need men. If we didn't need men, then then um, we w there wouldn't be two of us, right? So, and when I say need, I'm not talking about like desperation, but I do think men and women need each other in harmony to make this world a better place, to create human life, to do all sorts of things. So I, based on my own beliefs, um, really desire someone who, uh, you know, saw value in men, I guess that's what I'm saying, and understood their amazingness and their uniqueness and, and, and their differences and valued the masculine, if you will. And then for me also, particularly one of the things I looked for was someone who had similar spiritual beliefs that I, as I did, because there are some femininity um, um, teachers, if you will, who are into some things that I'm not personally into and so I want to make I wanted to make sure that from a spiritual perspective that I wasn't dipping my toe into things that were contradictory to my own beliefs right so uh, what else did I look for I mean so and then I just you know just good vibes and um, 
you know, and I let me say I was also very partial to women who looked like me. I mean, there were I think there was one or two that I, you know, studied from that, you know, weren't black women, but I think that it was something really important for me. Um, you know, they say representation matters and even as an adult it mattered for me in the femininity space because I I wanted to see what that looked like with our unique flavor on it and not that we are a monolith and not that we are all the same but to have several different examples of what Femini looked like from my sisters was so helpful some people were very indirect whether it was on youtube or they had a book or um or you know i follow them on social media and some of them never even taught on femininity but, but as i learned about femininity i was able to watch other women who had it naturally uh, well we all have it naturally but like who were functioning in it very effortlessly and i was able to glean from them and and and, and pick up things and think about how i wanted to incorporate that in my own life with my own little special sauce on it if you will so I just wanted to do a quick video about that because I know that there are a lot of people in the space there's a lot of really popular people there's a lot of people that are also like I, let me say this this is the last thing I didn't want anyone to define femininity by things that were all external um so two things things that were all ex external and also diminishing the power of a woman right so I don't believe that femininity is not being able to share your thoughts or speak your mind I think it's about effective communication so that your thoughts can be heard and understood right I don't think femininity is a look um, and and that's it right that oh if you get your hair done and your nails done and you wear makeup and dresses then that's femininity I, it, like I felt like if if that's all that somebody was giving me um, then that wasn't going to be enough for me and it wasn't going to really give me the transformation I was looking for. Is beauty a tool in your femininity toolbox? Absolutely, right? Is effective communication a tool in your fem femininity toolbox? Yes, but being silenced or just being told to speak softly or things like that, like I knew that femininity was much more complex than that, much richer than that. And so that's what I was looking for. So with that being said, those are kind of the things that helped me kind of um, search out who was going to support me in this journey, whether up close, you know, from a coaching mentor standpoint or from afar, a book, a YouTube channel, just watching them in their day to day lives. And it has been an amazing journey. And what I what I love about it is I mean, I'm a much different woman today than I was when I first started. But I also know that that journey um, never ends. You just, you know, you continue to refine and refine and refine. And I really enjoy that. So I'm not as intense about the subject as I was previous in previous years but I think because I'm in a much better place that I feel like I can share what helped me along my journey not to be your femininity teacher because like I said I think there's some women out there that this is their life work this is their God-given calling but I think also sometimes it's nice to have someone who's been down their own personal journey who can say hey this was helpful for me so as you as you start to research things as you start to listen to people right here's some things to consider and um, so that's it. So let me know um, what other questions do you have about like creating your femininity journey? Do you want tips about like the the plan that I set in place? Because I I'm a strategist, so I did create a strategy uh, about it. And so um, so let me know um, what you think was this helpful and um, or what questions you have let's kind of get a dialogue going in the comments about this because I think you know if we're not careful a lot of times when we have something that we are kind of working on as a collective as a community not again not 100% but there's something that a significant mass of us are working on sometimes there will be people who come in just to monetize off of our transformation and our interest because they know that if they market to 
black women that it is profitable for them. And so I want to make sure that as you are investing your time, your energy, and maybe even your resources, that you are putting them in places with people who are going to benefit you greatly, for people who really have a heart for this subject matter, for people who really want to see you blossom in this way. And so, yeah, y'all. So that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Peace.